morning. What a warm up. I think I've pushed my bike through, I don't know, a couple of K of mud. Because there's no riding it. It's either slippery or so sticky that it's like having the brakes on permanently. And uh, guess what? Got a bit more to go yet. Anyway, so today started off with uh, riding away from my uncle's place. That lasted about 30 seconds and then I just pushed my bike. It was so muddy that I had to, um, I actually had to stop every 20 meters and kind of dig out the mud from the tires because it was grinding on the tires. And then for half the day, it was all gunked up with mud and the gears wouldn't change and stuff like that. Anyway, so that was fun. Um, luckily it was a bit cloudy at that point, so it wasn't too bad. But, uh, but yes, what a wake up call. Later in the day, had some beautiful roads, um, met a couple of guys cycling along, collecting basically trash, you know, and basically they would ride around the villages and, um, and collect bits and pieces. You know, I saw a couple of kids' plastic chairs with missing legs and stuff like that, and I said, oh, you know, do you get some money out of that? And they're like, yeah, 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 we can get a bit of money out of that. But they're, geez, they're riding some kilometers. So I was like, wow, how much work are you doing just for, a, you know, a few, a few dollars? But yeah, so good day, lots of good fun. Rode through some more um, some more sugarcane plantation, which was really nice, and uh, coaxed myself along to keep pushing with with the promise of a single beer at the end of the day. The reason it's only a single beer is because I reckon I'd be out flat and I wouldn't be able to get this uh, video uploaded. Um, I'd just be fast asleep by six o'clock. And she sent a message saying, "Oh, and we offer dinner." And I'm like, oh, that's good. I just stay at the hotel. They will provide dinner. Food and sleep, that is what I need. Tomorrow is likely to be a 100 kilometer day. There's a town about 30K from here. And then another one that's about 70K from there. The problem is that 30K is not far enough and 100K is really a little bit too far. Um, but the beauty of having a town is you can stock everything up, you know, so to be able to get water and food and all of that kind of stuff and then to get a really good meal and a good bed um, at the end of the day or an easy bed um, at the end of the day rather than camping somewhere dodgy um, is great. So that should coax me on. So I'm going to try and get up early in the morning to get that done. And um, yeah, but it's going to be big. So fingers crossed there is no mud tomorrow. Please let there be no mud and no wrong turns which I did about five or six of today. <laughs> 